Hi, I'm David, your developer on Duty, and in this video we're going to see how to efficiently create slides using Markdown. As programmers, we don't like to spend time on manually adjusting our presentation slides. We want to concentrate on the actual content and let the machine take over the grunt work. Markdown is an efficient way to do it and allows us to stay in our favorite editor. There are many options out there which transform your Markdown files into fully-fledged presentation slides. The most popular open-source ones are Reveal.js, LookAtMe, Marp and Slidev. So Reveal.js is an HTML presentation framework which also allows you to write your slides using Markdown. So let's see some example presentation. So it could look like this. You have your title slide and usually some title and some text on your slides. You can have vertical slides. You can add code blocks, which are automatically highlighted using highlight chairs. And you can highlight individual parts. You can also auto animate, which looks quite nice. And of course you have markdown support. You can have fragments and various different transition styles. You can have slide backgrounds, image backgrounds, tile backgrounds, video backgrounds and GIFs, background transitions. You can also have lists, order lists, tables, quotes and so on and so forth. So quite a lot of features. You can also export it to PDF. And for more, you can visit the Reveal.js website. So the next tool is Marp, which is more focused on Markdown. So you can also create beautiful slides. It's based on common mark. You can have theming, export to PDF. It's open source. It has a pluggable architecture and some editor integrations. So here's a tiny example. You have a title page and also normal slides where you can also insert code blocks. Next up is Look at Me, which is an interactive, extensible and terminal based markdown presentation tool. So you write your slide in markdown and you can even run them in your terminal. It supports code blocks, tables, even images, live editing and many other features. So here are some example slides. Even though it runs in a terminal, it looks quite nice. And again, you even have image support. You can have code blocks and it's all rendered properly. This is, by the way, a great tutorial on how to get started using Look at Me. It tells you exactly what to do. The last one on the list, and also my personal favorite, is Slidev. It lets you create slides as HTML pages, but you can also export them as PDF. It comes with a ton of features and looks great. So here are some example slides. You can have a title page, a list, and you can also add some nice looking icons. You can add code blocks and can also have pictures on the right. You can also highlight individual parts of the code. You can also use various view components. For example, you can reference tweets by specifying the ID, then it renders it very nicely. You can add interactive counters and things like that. There are many themes available, both built in as well as third party themes. They look really nice. You can add animations using text. You can add LaTeX documents. For example, here are Maxwell's equations. You can add diagram, for example, using Mermaid. You can organize your slides using different files. And there are a lot more features. So, for example, inside your slide, you can scribble around by adding this pen here. You can put some rectangles or you can just uh, highlight various parts. So now let's use SlideF to create some slides. It's rather simple. You just run npm init SlideF. Give some project name, sample, slides, and you can install it using, for example, npm. So that will take a while, and then you're good to go to create some slides. So let's navigate to the created directory and open slides MD. 
where we can get rid of all this uh, generated stuff. We can use normal markdowns to create slides, for example, here, hello, this is an example slide, and let's run it using slidef slides md. Now we can press O to open it in a browser. I can also keep this tool running and open it side by side to get a live preview. So if I update some text, then you can see on the right it automatically updates it. So let's add a new slide with some JavaScript code, for example, some JavaScript code. I can add code blocks, JavaScript function foo console log text. Let's see how that works. And you can see the code block looks nice. So one thing I really like to do is to create lists with icons. So let's do this. Some list with item A and item B. So the list works. Now let's create some icons. So you can use, for example, Iconify and search for an icon, let's say JavaScript. Let's take this one here. And you can see Apache 2, so we can use it. You just copy that string, plug it in here, and replace the colon with a dash. And let's see if that worked. Yes, we have this icon JS. So now let's add a picture. It's a bit cumbersome because first you have to create a public folder and move all your pictures into that folder. So let's just copy some logo.png to public. And now I can add an image using the usual image HTML element. So the source shall be logo.png and the width shall be 100. And now you can see there's the image. To learn more about SlideDev, you can visit the website. The documentation is great. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. What's your favorite Markdown presentation tool? Please post it in the comments. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.